Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. Um, so on this job, there's a couple of different things uh, I was there to do. Um, the main thing that I've recorded for this video is uh, fitting a nest onto a nest plan system. Um, there were a couple of bits that I picked up along the way, which threw me a little bit. Um, the end, you will see there was a, another little fault on the system, which I then had to quickly repair as well. Uh, after that, I had to change the combination valve on the unvented cylinder, but that's not in this video. Um, this video is just focusing on the wiring side of things. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys find it useful. And if you've got any questions or comments, drop it below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you don't like it, it's fine. If you do like it, give us a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Have a good weekend, everyone. Right, in today's video, I'm going to be fitting a nest onto a nest plan system. So we've got two two ports here, one for the heating zone, one for the hot water zone. Gonna open this up, fit the nest receiver here. Uh, thermostat's already hardwired, so we should be able to get hardwired connection straight to it. Um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so first things first is to try and identify what cables are what. So we obviously know these two are our zone valve cables. That's then gonna help us identify which cables are going to the cylinder stat, the room stat, and the programmer. This cable here, that's coming from our boiler. So what I've done firstly, is just identify which is our programmer cables. So if we look at this cable here on the left hand side, that's our hot water one. So what I've done from there is I followed the brown, which is gonna be the call from the cylinder stat. That's linked to that blue there. Then trace that back to find out that's our cylinder stat cable on the left hand side which means that the brown on there is going to be our common. So if we trace that brown, which goes up to there. So we know that is our common on the cylinder stat. That's linked to the black here. So that means that is going to be hot water on from the programmer. So we trace this cable back. It will basically take us to our programmer cable, which is this one here. So I'm gonna label that programmer, uh, cylinder stat. This is our main incoming live boiler cable and our two zone valves. Okay, so on here we had this old Honeywell twin channel programmer, which I'm sure a lot of you have come across before. Uh, I've taken the faceplate off of there and just have a look at the wiring diagram on the back of it. That will tell you where your heating hot water sections are. Um, so what I've found out here, this has been wired slightly differently, which threw me off initially because I'm used to everything going back to the wiring center, but because the programmer and the room stat are literally one above the other, what they've done is that the common or the call for heating from here, um, which is there is basically just this cable going through the wall and coming straight onto the room stat. So there wasn't any call, uh, common room stat terminal in the wiring center uh, which threw me a little bit because I was trying to figure out you know where it's going and I found it that they've just put a cable through here so because we're going to be hard wiring the nest thermostat we need to take two cables from the wiring center to here so I'm going to be using the live and neutrals from the programmer instead um, and then we're going to fit the nest here and then use those two as the T1 and T2 so that we have a hard wired nest here so all I've got to do here is literally disconnect these three remove the thermostat, this cable will come out, these cables will all go and we're just going to be left with the live and neutral cables here. So I've removed that thermostat now, this will literally just be that cable coming from there. So as you can see all they've literally done is because the program and the thermostat were right next to each other, rather than sending a cable from here back to the wiring centre which is all the way back there. They've just taken the cable, which is perfectly fine to do, from here straight to the thermostat. Uh, so we've got a call for heat that's coming from the wiring center, uh, and we've got the live and neutral here, which are coming from the wiring center. So because all these are going to be made redundant, we'll just use these two cables to make life easier uh, from the wiring center and from the nest heat link and that will become our T1 and T2 once we fit the nest thermostat on this wall. So as I was saying before, uh, we've got our, that's the yellow 
coming from the thermostat that was our cold for heat uh, which is linked to the brown on here that's linked to our hot water zone valve oh, so that's a bit pen mark so what we're going to do is these two were the live and neutral on the programmer so we'll use these two as our t1 and t2 from the nest heat link uh, which will allow us to hardwire the nest back onto that wall again so we've identified these are going to be our t1 and t2 this one here was our cylinder stat cable our hot water on cable so that's linked to the common here so this will get removed and we'll link a cable back into here from the heat link uh, i think it's from terminal six if i remember correctly but i'll double check it when i open it up again so that's going to control the uh, cylinder stat and the hot water zone valve switch live back to the boiler is here um, and obviously live earth and neutral from here they've actually taken a live from the boiler because uh, on this boiler we've got the old valent here so where well, we've got three and four terminals so uh, number four is our switch live back to the boiler number three is um, 230 volts out so we've got another live supply so we don't have to make all these permanent live terminals too busy so we can use that to power up our nest right let's get the nest on the wall and start wiring it all up now the easiest way i remember on how to wire up a nest onto an s plan let's pop that there so we don't get too much shadow so easiest ones are going to be live neutral and live you have a link between live and two two and five because they're they're our common terminals so we see one two three is the heating side four five six is the hot water side so you're just basically going to do live two five so they're our permanent lives now on the heating side number three is going to go straight to the brown on the hot on the heating zone valve because this is our thermostat effectively so this is going to control our time and temperature um, for the thermostat so the call for heat for heating just goes straight to the brown on the heating zone valve which will then activate it and send a signal down the orange which is our switch live to the boiler getting it to come on on the hot water side slightly different because the nest doesn't control the temperature it only controls the time so we've obviously got a cylinder stat. So number six will go to the common on the cylinder stat. Now the cylinder stat will then come on and then it will then tell the boiler to come on same way as the heating side does. But the only difference is this goes straight to the brown. This goes to the common on the cylinder stat. So in short, neutral live, link live, two and five. Three goes to brown on the heating zone valve. Six goes to common on the cylinder stat. That's it. And if you're not sure, it does come with the wiring diagram here, which I actually find it, it looks a little bit more complicated than it should be because obviously you've got lines and wires crossing all over the place. So you might get a little bit stuck, but ignore all of that. Just literally look at this. So you've got live, two, five, they're linked together. All this is already going to be done in the wiring center. So you shouldn't need to worry about any of that. You're just looking at this bit. So you've got live, which is going to two, which is going to five three going to the brown on the heating zone valve six goes to the common on the cylinder stat that's it Right, so we're pretty much done now. It's just a case of closing it all up. So I've used the ferrules here. The only one gripe I have about the nest heat leak is that these terminals are so small. It's gonna be very tight to get them in. But yeah, so we've got our neutral, live, common, common. Number three, which is our gray cable. That's going into the wiring center. 
coming here and that goes to the brown for the heating zone valve so when we turn the room start up that will tell it to come on and the black which is our hot water on that's going to our cylinder stack there so you can see there's a link up there there's a link up there linking those two terminals so that's talking to the common on the cylinder stack which will tell it to come on t1 and t2 going over t1 t2 and these two the red and the blue cables they're the ones that were back there um, on the program side going to use them as our t1 and t2s there so yeah just got to close this all up and then power it back on and test it okay so power's back on you can see i've got the blue light blinking on there which basically means that it's trying to set itself up Yep, that's what we want to see. So we're just going to let that power up. It'll do an update. Oh, here we go. So I'll just get this all set up and then we'll give it a test. Okay, so we are all back up and running. Uh, we had a bit of an issue with that hot water zone valve. It was faulty. The motorized valve was stuck, so the boiler was just firing constantly without any demand. I thought I'd wired it in wrong there. I thought maybe I'd wired number six straight into the brown to the zone valve. That's why it kept firing. But no, I checked it. Wiring is all correct. That was stuck, so put a new synchro motor in there, so everything's working now. So what we're going to do first, test the heating side. So we we'll turn that up. That motorized valve is motoring over. Wait for the click. Click. Boil as a demand. S2, we just want it to go to S4. No, that way we'll know that the burner is lit. There we go. Rectified. Okay, burner is on. Now we'll turn that down. There we go, click, click, that's turned off. Perfect. Heating's working fine. Hot water, now remember, this only controls the time. The cylinder stat still controls the temperature. So let's just do a little boost. Boost that for 30 minutes. Is that on? There we go. Wait for the click. I think it's up to temperature already. So, let me just, well yeah, it would be up to temperature because where that was faulty before, it's just been constantly heating the cylinder. The cylinder's gonna be overly hot, so. Turn the cylinder stat up. Right, okay. I just think that's too hot at the moment. Um, right, I'll let it cool down and test it. But one other way we can test it to make sure is we'll check that we've got 240 going to the common on it, which means that it's ready. earth and there you go so we've got two set going to the common so we know that's ready but it's satisfied at the moment and we can prove that by doing one in the earth uh, let me see if i can do this it's two hands so we're going to test one in the earth and the other in the satisfied So that's all working, just got to let that cool down and I'll click it back on again and test it. But yeah, that's all working now as it should be.